Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. So you know what, the weather is cooling down and this is the time of year where I like to make a big pot of hot soup. And this year I'm gonna make a broccoli cheese soup. And if you're a big fan of Panera Bread, then you may wanna stick around. So if you wanna see how I make mine, then keep watching. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much to all of my new subscribers. And don't forget to click on the notification bell just in case when I do drop a video, you'll be the first to know, okay? So enough talking, let's go ahead and get cooking. Okay, so I'm going to start off by melting a fourth of a cup of unsalted butter over medium heat and I'm going to peel and chop a half an onion. So now I'm going to go ahead and add the onion to the already melted butter and I'm going to saute it for 5 minutes until it's soft and translucent. So while my onions are sautéing, I'm going to go ahead and prep my broccoli and before I do anything, I'm going to give it a good rinse. So real quickly, I'm just going to put it in my salad spinner and you guys, I love my salad spinner. I use it almost every day so it's always good to rinse your vegetables. So my broccoli is rinsed and now I'm just going to take a knife and cut the florets into little pieces. So my broccoli is done and I have around 3 cups of fresh broccoli so let's head back over to the stove and finish making the soups. Now my onions are already sauteed and now I'm going to add a fourth of a cup of flour and I'm going to whisk this together with the sauteed onions and the flour is what's going to help thicken up the soup. Okay so now I'm ready to add two cups of chicken broth to the pan and you just want to continue to whisk and stir just making sure that nothing is stuck to the bottom of the pan. Now it's time to add two cups of half and half. Now at this time, go ahead and add your three cups of fresh broccoli to the pan along with one cup of shredded carrots. Now you wanna make sure that it tastes really good so you wanna season it with some sea salt and some black pepper. Now you just wanna take a spoon and give everything a big stir, just making sure that everything is mixed really well together. And now you just want to bring your soup to a boil and then reduce the heat and then let it simmer between 20 and 30 minutes. But you also want to periodically stir it just to make sure that nothing again sticks to the bottom. So as I said in the beginning, I'm going to recreate the Panera Bread Broccoli and Cheese Bread Bowl Soups. And I searched and I found this package of sourdough bread and it kind of looks like the bread bowl at Panera Bread. And it was two for five dollars, so it really wasn't that bad. So anyway, I'm just going to take a knife and I'm going to cut the top off. And now you just want to hollow out the middle of the bread just enough so that you have enough room to fill it up with all your soup. The 
this soup is smelling delicious and I'm gonna sprinkle in just a little bit of nutmeg. Okay, so at the very end, I'm gonna add the two cups of extra sharp cheddar cheese and you can go ahead and turn the heat off and just allow the cheese to melt into the soup. So at this point, you should give it a quick taste test just to make sure that everything is seasoned really well. The broccoli and the carrots should be cooked perfectly at this point and the only thing you have to do is just go ahead and serve you up a bowl of hot soup or a bread bowl of hot soup. And of course at the very end I'm going to top it off with some more cheese because I love cheese and a little bit of pepper. But yeah you guys if you love Panera broccoli and cheese bread bowl soup go ahead and give this a try. Make sure to eat it of course while it's nice and hot. But we are all done you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it and it will help my channel out a whole lot. Share it with everybody you know. Follow me, tag me on Instagram, take a picture, I would love to see it. And if you give this recipe a try, please leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Now wait you guys, before you leave, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscriber button down at the bottom. And if you want to see another video, go ahead and click that box you see over there. But until then, thank you so much for watching. I love and appreciate you all and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye bye.